Okay, thanks for joining us live from Mob Roll with Coffee with Stripes. We got Dante over here. And Dante, I got a bone to pick with you as a as, sure. a, as a very easily offended flamenco artist. Oh, all right. Yeah. There were some bold claims that you made earlier in your set. Um so like I said, uh, uh, influenced by a lot of different genres. I'm not traditionally trained in any one of them. This is kind of a flamenco influenced um, song. It's not really a flamenco. Not to offend any like actual flamenco uh, musicians out there tonight. I, I don't want to offend any a lot of actual. Them. Just influence. I'm, I'm not claiming to be. You know what? Don't flamenco don't make music. excuses, man. The entire flamenco community, <laughs> the flamenco community, the flamenco, <laughs> the flamenco community is it up in no, they're not. Man, I didn't know you played the ukulele like that. <laughs> you've been playing a ukulele man um uh 10 years maybe 10 years i've been playing music for like 12 years total what, what other kind of instruments do you play man um mostly anything with strings uh, i started on guitar i play bass in a couple of bands right now and yes um, the bass is like I a giant ukulele so much also have you played the u bass before have you seen that i've have seen the u bass have you seen this have you heard of this have you have you heard of les claypool's bass banjo Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck totally, egg. totally. Yes, yes, yes. I love all those fringy instruments like that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You were really digging in and getting some little, some real note play out of that, that little ukulele. <laughs> yeah. I, was like, I think that's the technical term for it, yes. I was like, damn, dude. <laughs>
Until you performed tonight, I didn't know that there were special shoes you had to wear to play the ukulele real good. <laughs> yeah, the color-coded Alaska on the side with the yes. matching laces, yeah. It all makes sense. Now I know what's going on. <laughs> if I go to, over to Hawaii, I'm going to go to the ukulele store and they're going to have those shoes right under the ukulele. You go buy the ukulele, they're going to be like, dude, you didn't get any shoes, you're going to suck. I'll be like, I don't know. I don't know. I you gotta know. help me out. You gotta help me out. No give, me the, give me the works. Give me the works. Come on. Tell give me, me the works. The they give you four pairs of shoes, one ukulele. They're like, you'll be awesome. <laughs> Got everything you need now. Great, man. Uh, how long have you been uh, participating with Mob Roll? Um, so I've played a, at least one Mob Roll show every year. Yes. The very first year of Mob Roll, um, actually, so there's this place in Bremerton that doesn't exist anymore, but it's called the Artists of Freedom and Unity, uh, a AFU. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, it was all completely volunteer based, and we had our hall room music venue. And um, 
there was a show booked. My homie, my homie Duncan booked a show, and he's like, yeah, we got, got a hip-hop show. We got uh, Mal De Santo, who's our other friend that volunteered there. And, and yeah, Steve, this guy Steve, and he's like, oh, I, I lost all my beats. They were on this like iPod, and he's kind of a traveling kid. And, uh, and, uh, and I was like, oh, it's okay. I'll just write a bunch of funky music, and you can just perform against that. So like I got to the done. bass player and a beatboxer, and we like wrote songs in like 11 days and played the show, and it happened to be Mob Roll, and that was like the very first Mob Roll tour. Bass players and beatboxers, and was, was those are the people you go to when you need to get shit done. Right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yep, that's awesome. Man. Beatboxing is, is a lot less things to carry than a drum set, so. Well, depending <laughs> on how big your head is. <laughs> what if you just got a big ass head, man? <laughs>
Thanks. I'm influenced by a lot of different genres, um, but my first love was the blues, so um, I'm gonna play a blues song. This is this is the too fast for its own good blues.
Um, all right, well, thank you for joining us. What's that band that we got up next? Who are these guys? Ralph Rain. Ralph Rain. Ralph Rain. Ralph Rain, a big mob bro. Yeah. Remix. Right okay, cool. Thanks, thanks, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for listening to uh, Mob Roll Radio here at 666.6. You've been listening to Don Himanalo from Bremerton, Washington. Up next is uh, Ralph Rain from Vashon Island. Be sure to tip your bartenders and uh, barbecuers. Thanks.